Good morning. Hayem Yem Aleph of and Reish So Mashiach is going to be the most incredible human being to ever live. He's going to be a, just a really, really good, good guy. But what's really going to stand out about Mashiach, what's going to be his unique quality, is his humility. He's going to be a really, really humble person. And even though he's going to be one of the greatest people that ever lived, even though he's going to be one of the smartest people that ever lived, to the point that he's going to be teaching Torah, he's going to teach the Aves, Avram, Yitzchak, Yaakov, and Moshe Rabbeinu. The people who founded the Jewish religion and the people who gave us the Torah, they are going to study Torah at the feet of Mashiach. Mashiach is going to have what to teach them. And Mashiach is going to teach them. And even so, Mashiach is going to be happy to, and he's not going to feel like it's beneath him, to teach us as well, to teach the simple folk, to teach every single Jew, every simple Jew. Even me, even you, all of us, in the same breath that Mashiach is teaching the Abbas and Meish Rabbeinu, he's going to want to teach us all Torah. That's how humble he'll be. And again, he's not going to feel like it's beneath him, he'll be happy to do it. Because the meaning of humility, what it means to be a humble person, is that although you're fully aware of, and you're comfortable with your own unique strength, and talents, and skill, and your incredible unique personality, Still, that doesn't make you arrogant. That doesn't make you feel smug. It doesn't make you feel superior to anyone else. It doesn't make you feel better than anyone else. Although you're much more talented than everybody else, you're not better than everyone else. Nobody has less value than you, even if they're not as talented as you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.